How's it going guys? Welcome back to another tutorial. Um, in my last video I showed you how to create an account on Twitter and I said I would show you how to take your Twitter account even further and that is this video. Um, what I'm showing you today is a site called TweetDeck. If you haven't heard of it then you're about to. <laughs> um, what TweetDeck is, it allows you uh, to schedule uh, tweets ahead of time to get ahead of the game per se if you want to uh, tell everyone hey I have a message or a announcement coming on this time that you can schedule that tweet to be posted exactly at that time instead of having to like be at your phone waiting to post a thing at that exact time. Uh, this is one way to schedule a tweet and there are other ways that I will show you uh, sometime in the near future but let's go ahead and get started. So first things first we are going to sign in with our Twitter account. <laughs> I hope I typed that in right. Darn it. First things first, it gives you a little bit of, uh, tells you a little bit of what TweetDeck is. Uh, you can create a, your own custom Twitter experience, find exactly what you're looking for, and manage multiple Twitter accounts. Now, in the past, um, TweetDeck used to be its own standalone site, um, and now it is uh, part of Twitter as a subdomain or sub URL, whatever you want to call it. I'm used to calling it a subdomain, but it is now part of Twitter, and Twitter, I guess, now owns TweetDeck. Potentially in a later video, I will show you how to use TweetDeck or connect apps to uh, TweetDeck on your uh, smartphone. So let's go ahead and get started. So as you can see, you have this little bar down below so you can uh, see all your feeds. So this is my home feed, which is my feed of all the Twitter accounts that I currently follow. And this is notifications of people who have followed me, and yeah. This is messages, so my, the little inbox of things I've sent to people on Twitter, people who, and things people have sent to me, and this is uh, that's recent activity. And these are the tabs that link to each of those. You can also add a column, so you can add a um, column for your favorites, a column for lists, and a column for your scheduled. I'm going to add a column uh, for uh, my scheduled tweets. Um, and I'm actually going to put that and you can move your columns as well. Move it to right there. Um, you can also add multiple uh, Twitter accounts. And back um, when TweetDeck was its own standalone site, uh, you could connect your Facebook account. Um, but then at some point, they got rid of the functionality to add face uh, to schedule your Facebook posts through Tweet TweetDeck. If you want to be able to schedule. Twitter and Facebook posts, you'll have to use Hootsuite, and Hootsuite will be a later tutorial. Um, you can tell TweetDeck to add a confirmation step before uh, tweeting as your Twitter account. I can add another Twitter account, and you just log in with the credentials, your username and password of said other Twitter account, and then you'd be able to schedule tweets from both Twitter accounts. Um, and nice thing is, um, if a friend of yours also uses TweetDeck, that, uh, say you have a group blog or whatever that you've created a Twitter account for, then you and your friend can schedule tweets using TweetDeck for that shared account. Come into settings and there's like keyboard shortcuts. You can also um, change what you use for your link shortening, but if you use bit.ly there's username and API keys and things that I don't even know. That's, that's the thing I want to look into, but anyway, just use uh, Twitter. You can also choose certain text content or users or source stuff to block. Um, but we're going to come into general. You can choose a dark or light theme. So as you can see in the back, that it just got really dark, really dark, really fast. Um, you can change the width of your column so it can be really narrow or really wide, um, kind of like it somewhere in the middle. Uh, you can change the font size of something is barely readable, um, like that, well, that's still fairly readable, but you have really bad eyes, so you can just, you know, do that. <laughs> um, so now, and then here you can stream, tell uh, TweetDeck to stream tweets in real time, which I have no idea why you would want to have that turned off, because that's kind of the point of Twitter, is um, being able to see things come in in real time. You can tell TweetDeck to uh, show you notifications on startup or to not, as well as do or do not display media that may contain sensitive content. So I'm done here. Now to uh, schedule a tweet, what you will do uh, is come up to the little uh, new tweet button right here. 
and you will choose uh, which accounts you want to uh, tweet this message. So you can choose if you have multiple accounts set up. I currently do not, um, but you can select all of them or just a few. Um, so I'm going to uh, say this is a scheduled tweet. Yeah. You can add an image if you want. You can choose it that it be a direct message to someone, but I want this to be a new tweet. And to schedule it, you will click schedule tweet. So you'll click schedule and you can schedule it for months, years in the future, but uh, ideally you would want to schedule something for uh, in the near future. Um, so like I could schedule it for later today. The current time is 1244 so I'm going to have it scheduled for uh, 1245 um, and hope that the... Oh, no, we're going to have it scheduled for 1246 and we'll watch it tweet in real time. So tell it to tweet at 1246 and so as you can see that the tweet has not yet tweeted because it is not 1246. So time just became 1246 and our tweet that we just scheduled uh, is now live and if you come up to our uh, Twitter page you will see um, this is a scheduled tweet the picture that we tweeted um, and this is a link to a, is a Twitter based link if we were to click on the picture. So yeah, and I believe that is everything on how to use um, TweetDeck um, and these little things you're, you will hardly ever have to um, mess with those and you can add more things and customize it to the way you want. Um, Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up, and don't forget to uh, hit the red subscribe button to subscribe to my main channel, uh, where you can see all the interesting content that I've uploaded to my main channel. And don't forget to hit the other red subscribe button to subscribe to this channel to be notified whenever I upload uh, new tutorials, and I will see you guys in the next video.